Active Directory Federation Services is a functionality in Server 2008. Again, you will see mentioned on the exam. Now, this is one of those areas that they could drill in and ask you a few more questions. Generally, you shouldn't see a whole lot of questions about Federation Services, but this is something you need to look at. Federation Services is an identity access solution because security has now jumped outside our domain. Always in the past, security has been an internal situation, right? Because we're worried about our internal clients getting to resources on the inside of our network. Well, as the Internet and Internet technologies has expanded, then what we're finding now is our companies have to deal in like partnership arrangements with multiple companies. We're outsourcing a lot more stuff. And so basically what we're going to do with Federation Services is think of this, and I've got it somewhere in the notes here, but I want you to think external trust. We're basically going to create an external trust to another organization and then we're just going to trust their users to access our resources and vice versa. And so these are partnerships, internet-based access needing authentication. Now there's three core capabilities that Federation Services provides. First of all, extranet authentication. Someone from outside our internal network. Now this is someone that we know, that we do business with, and we set up a connection with Federation Services to them and they have Federation services running, and we will actually authenticate their folks into our network. The web single sign-on, and this is one of the most powerful features of Federation services, and as we move through the web, we can do single sign-on services with our partners, and the identity Federation services of IIS web-based applications. But the bottom line with all of this is, that it extends the authority of our internal security world, meaning our Active Directory database, to the outside world. Because we can now set up a federation connection to them, if you will, and notice this uses port 443. And you will notice that that is one of those common ports that we use, port 80, port 25, you know, port 443, you know, we're whittling it down. And 443 is that secured uh, port that we're using on a standard basis. Now, Active Directory Federation Services, if you go out there and start to read about it, you're going to realize really quick this is designed for medium to large organizations. Notice, as long as they have at least one directory service, and you'll notice the word active is missing there. As long as it's an LDAP-based service, and there are a couple of other requirements, but basically, if it's an Active Directory friendly type service, uh, it will work. Of course, the suggestion is going to be Active Directory domain services, Active Directory lightweight directory services, or again, another standardized LDAP. It needs domain joined computers. Basically means they have to be in a domain environment. The computers can be running various operating systems. Where there's no requirement here on certain levels of Vista or XP or anything. And the computers have to be connected to the internet. And so they need to be running one or more web-based applications. Now there's a little hint there and that is that Federation Services it's really only going to work for web-based applications. But look at the benefits of this. I can have two companies and I can have this relationship with each other, but both companies manage their own identities. But once we create this federation services between each other, then we're basically like, like trusted. If you go way back in the video series here to when we talked about trust ed and trusted resources and trusted users and stuff, that's exactly what we're doing here. We're just pushing them through port 443, if you will. Each can project and accept security identities from other organizations. So, so each can have their own security context and then project and accept identities across the organizations. Here's the main line here. And this is the heart and soul of Federation Services. Think external trust between forests without opening any Active Directory ports on the firewall. It's port 443. You've already got it there for secure communications. It's already open. Now, 
This cannot be part of server core. So watch for that on the exam if it comes up. And again, we're back to that same issue because of the ASP.NET dependency on server core. We can't use Federation of Services on server core because server core can't run ASP.NET and Federation Services is entirely for web-based applications. Now, what I'm going to do here is just refer you out to TechNet just go to Microsoft.com, do a search for Active Directory Federation Services, and start reading up on this. It's a little bit involved in setting it up. You shouldn't see too many very detailed questions. You just need to understand what Federation Services is. Read up a little bit about it. Just make sure that you kind of feel comfortable with the idea. And again, think external trust through the firewall. And that should help you quite a bit with Federation Services. Get your head wrapped around that. Dig into it just a little and you should be able to get through this on the exam okay.